So the YouTube Shorts Fund may very well be one of the best ways to make money with YouTube Shorts specifically because you don't actually have to have any subscribers on your channel and can actually get paid if you qualify from $100 all the way to $10,000 per month. However, to qualify for this fund, you do have to create your own original content as opposed to just reposting other people's content and YouTube does seem to be gravitating towards more original content on their platforms and also if something sounds too easy and too good to be true, it's very likely to not be very sustainable. Of course! But fear not because in today's video, I'm going to be running through a live demo of a video I'm going to be creating and uploading onto my own channel so that you can actually follow along for your own videos and I'll also provide you some free resources that you can base your videos off of and create them very easily. And before we begin, don't forget to gently smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm and also consider subscribing to my channel for more cutting edge videos about making money online and digital entrepreneurship just like this one. Plus you can check out my investing channel as well. And with that, let's get started with the video. So first up, if you want to learn all about the new YouTube Shorts announcement, I actually covered that in my most recent video, which is this one right here regarding how you can actually qualify, how much you can potentially earn, and so on and so forth. So be sure to watch this video, which I'll link down below if you want to check out that information. Plus in that video, I also covered how you can easily create YouTube Shorts using TikTok, which does have a lot more convenient features compared to the YouTube app right now, which is still in beta. So you can definitely check that out as well. But for today's video, I'm going to be going through a completely different method and I'm going to be demonstrating demonstrating it live as well and show you how you can do so even without TikTok. And so one of the easiest ways to create YouTube Shorts is actually using this website to find, for example, life hacks that are related to your niche. And first of all, we can actually take a look at certain YouTube channels that are already succeeding with similar methods, such as this channel right here called Tool Tips. If we scroll down, they have a lot of these shorts that are getting thousands if not tens of thousands of views of just very, very simple stuff like how to use different tools that are, that are already probably lying around their or his or her house, right? And if we look at some other channels, we also have this one called Bartender Skills. It's just a person making shorts of, you know, less than 20 seconds each of different cocktails or different drinks that they can make. And all you have to do is to really go, you know, the supermarket and buy up a certain number of ingredients and you can actually create lots of different drinks, for example, right? Using the same or using different combinations of ingredients, for, for instance. So this is another example. And yet another one is um, this one called Fabulous 50s. They do have a large variety of content and they have 1.25 million subscribers subscribers, but their short strategy is also quite simple and it's quite successful as well with tens of thousands of views and it's literally just again sort of life hacks that don't really require any sort of you know special equipment or items or whatever it's a lot of them is just uh, filming stuff that they already have around the house or just filming themselves mostly using their phone right right and for one more example, we have this channel right here called Macaroon with 1.53 million subscribers, primarily covering cute, easy DIY projects. And again, if we scroll all the way down to their short section, we'll see that they have also had a lot of success with this, with some of their videos getting tens of thousands of views, but also to showcase the potential of YouTube Shorts being that it's so easy to create a lot of videos with low effort, right? And also the fact that YouTube is really pushing this feature, we'll see that if we actually scroll through some of their shorts, they have actually gotten millions of views on several of their videos. So again, even if some of these videos or some of one's um, YouTube shorts don't necessarily get that many views, it's a lot more likely compared to creating normal YouTube videos to have a few videos pop off and potentially go viral. And now coming back over to WikiHow, I'm going to find some life hack articles that are related to my entrepreneurship or make money online or investing niches. So with that, first of all, if you want to find something related to your niche or even explore different types of articles, you can go to the top right where it says explore Explore, and this, it actually pops out lots of different categories or you can actually click on the categories link right here to further browse you know what each category entails but for myself I've actually found a couple of great articles that I think will work well as content for my YouTube short so in particular I want to go for uh, work from home and how to actually find balance uh, balance of life while working from home so this article would work well and then um, this next one also, four ways to stay sane working from home, also has some great tips that I can literally just base my video off of. And the way I'm going to do so is first of all, record some simple footage with my phone related to what um, each of these points are. And I'm just going to pick a few points to base or to create my video around. And then I'm just going to, with YouTube or the app, I'm just going to add some of the text from this website or just summarize it a little bit for each tip and just not necessarily voice it over, but just have the text show up as captions on my video and I'll show you exactly how everything is done. It's actually very simple. So next I want you to come along with me while I record some short video clips for my YouTube short.
As you just saw, I just recorded some short and easy video clips based on some of these life hacks I found on WikiHow. And while I'll actually return to these pages later to add some captions for my video and I actually do so on my YouTube app, for now we're going to go on to a website to easily string together our video clips to create one singular video. And for that we're going to go over to none other than canva.com. And over here, what you want to do first is to make sure your canvas is in the right dimensions. And to do so, you can just go over to video right here, the tab right here, and then click on mobile video and it's the dimensions are uh, 1080 by 1920 pixels and this is the standard for uh, mobile optimized videos right so you want to click on this and it'll open up a template for you or a blank canvas for you for which there are actually a lot of templates you can also play with but to create an original video you do need to sort of create your own clips right hence you know we're actually recording our own video uh, so what I'm gonna do is to go over to my folder where I've actually uploaded all the clips I just recorded right onto to Canva. I'm just going to drag them all onto Canva. So all I need to do is to go to the folder and then just drag and drop into the left side here as you can see and they will actually be uploaded right onto the website. Nice! And then all you need to do is to drag each and every clip here onto a separate slide, so to speak, on Canva. So for example, I can just drag in my first clip into the first window here. And then besides that, I also need to trim the clip to keep the parts I need, right? So after I position my video to fill up the entire uh, box here or the canvas here, I can actually click on the top left to the scissors icon to then trim the clip to whatever I want. And then what you want to do is to just rinse and repeat for each subsequent slide, which to create another slide, you want to go to the bottom here to click on the plus sign where it says add page so I'm just gonna do so and as you can see I have two pages now which are just different parts of the same video right eventually so what I need to do here is just drag in the second part um, the second clip here um, let's see okay there we go so again I need to resize this to fill up the page and then go on the top to oh onto the top to trim my clip so uh, let's see a few moments later. And now that I have all my video clips on here and trimmed properly, there are actually two different ways I could go about this. The first is to use Canva itself to finish editing my video, be it adding text from Canva or some of the uh, stickers or images that they have on here, especially the royalty free ones, right? Because we don't want to run into any copyright issue. But the problem with doing that is that for whatever reason, if you actually add additional assets like stickers and images and stuff like that onto your video and use the or upload that onto the YouTube app on your phone, it actually prevents you from editing the clip any further using YouTube. However, the other way would be to just download the video clip right now as is, whoops, without any of the you know additional text or stickers that we add onto it. So it'll just be all this, all these video clips strung together as one video. This way would actually enable us to further edit the video using the YouTube app. So that's actually the method I'm going to show you how to do right now. And all I would need to do here would be to go to the top right to hit up the download button button and then select mp4 video and then download and this will actually download all these clips together as one video and then after that I can simply go on to Google Drive to upload my video onto here to then actually have my phone to be able to download it back onto my phone to then upload onto the YouTube app to edit that you um you had you 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 could you do so first you want to head it to the YouTube app of course and then go to the bottom where there's like a plus sign click on it and then uh, tap create a short okay and after that instead of recording the video which you could actually straight up use the YouTube app to record videos but because we're doing multiple takes um, I found it to be a bit easier to use Canva for this but anyway or for Canva to string together the videos right but anyway here what we're gonna do is to go to our downloaded video so I'm just going to go to the left side here where there's like an image I can tap on to look at my uploads or look at my files and then click on my uh, most recent video to upload it. And here you can actually trim it further. We're not going to do so because we've already trimmed the video properly. So I'm just going to hit next on the top right. And now I'm going to start adding some text to my video starting with the title. And notice how after you've made a caption such as my title here, it'll actually stay for the entire duration of the clip or the video which I don't want right because I only want it for the first few seconds as the title right so what I can do here is to tap on this or tap on my caption hit timing and then I can actually adjust what um, timing I want it to be right so the duration of or yeah the duration of you know how long the text actually stays on my screens all right and now that I'm all done with my captions and timelines you'll see a whole bunch of items on my overall timeline right so I can just hit done here and this is pretty much 
my finalized video. Actually, there's one more thing I'm gonna do, which is add music, which I can do by clicking on music here and uh, picking one of the tunes that they have. I can search for one. I can even bookmark ones that I like. Oh, and another thing that I can consider is uh, filters as well. So I'm gonna click on filters to see whether one makes my video look nicer and um, that'll pretty much be finalizing my video. Just a quick word of caution though, and I actually forgot about this until now, and it's that YouTube Shorts actually only supports music, specifically up to 15 seconds right now, if you actually add music from the app. For whatever reason, and this even is the case if your video clip is longer than 15 seconds, so you only have the video or the music play for the first 15 seconds, and for the rest of it, it'll be silent, which is a bit weird, and I believe it's because the system or the app is still in beta, and they should update it in a future patch. And um, if you don't want to have this, you can first of all, Will add your music um, on your own for example you can add even your text you know even stickers as well as music all on canva and then just have everything be complete then and then just upload that straight up onto youtube without editing it any further um, or you can just use something like tiktok which does support music um, if you use their music up to a minute long but anyhow, here I'm just gonna uh, go ahead and upload my video. I've I had did I did put a music track on there, but it's only gonna be 15 seconds. And I do normally use TikTok, but this is just for you know for science and for our demo. And I'm gonna upload this onto my channel right now. So all I need to do now is to name my video. So it'll be the same as what I have on the top of my the beginning of my video, which is my title. So it'll be four tips to stay uh, stay stay productive excuse me productive while working from home and that is pretty much all you have to do to upload your video you can just click upload and you'll be done coming over really quick to my youtube studio we'll see that my video is indeed uploading successfully but as for a couple of optional extra steps you can also take which doesn't necessarily affect youtube shorts videos that much um, is first of all you can add a description and this can only be done using the browser version of youtube and not the app for whatever reason and again it doesn't affect the videos that much especially if it's a short but what i did was i added a description here by just copy and pasting in my um, normal descriptions templates that i use for all of my videos and then um, what you can also do is add things like end screens and cards if you want to to link to and promote your channel or other videos um, and another thing is you can consider doing some form of affiliate marketing or promoting whatever you want to promote in your description right for example i'm promoting my channel um, because youtube shorts is sort of a independent way or a sort of different avenue or channel um, to you know on YouTube right as opposed to the normal YouTube videos because people will largely be browsing through them um, on their phones for instance so you can actually have you know extra traffic is what I mean that you can get from YouTube shorts so for instance you can promote whatever stuff you have I'm promoting my YouTube guide and my course um, what you got you can also do is if you don't have your own course or products you can also do some form of affiliate marketing or sell some kind of merch right um, specific, specifically for DIY you can do stuff like um, promote you know practical items related to the um, not just DIY but like life hacks right you can promote different types of practical items from like the Amazon marketplace if you just sign up as an Amazon associate related to your niche right or related to what, whatever life hacks you have and additionally you can also use a website called kit.co to customize uh, different kits so to speak which are like bundles of Amazon products and these are all listed on Amazon as you can see and these are all affiliate links as well so you can sign up for kit for free and just link your kit store on on your YouTube uh, description here and then you can also have a call to action in your video which is telling people of this store that they can go and check out you can just mention that in your video real quick which will increase the likelihood that people will actually go and check out your store and your kit that is again hopefully related to whatever life hack you are um, doing in your video and that is pretty much all I want to show you guys in today's video remember you can check out my free YouTube ebook using the first link in the description box below plus I also have some free preview lessons on my YouTube course using the second link in the description box. So with that, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video. Peace.